welcome back to the channel uh, today I want to go over how not to rent a motorcycle as a youtuber not that I'm a youtuber but I do make YouTube videos once in a while so last month uh, my wife and I took the kids and we went for uh, a little vacay for a week to visit my dad down in Myrtle Beach and when we were down there, we were like, ah, the weather's nice, let's uh, go and rent a motorcycle. This will be a good experience, right? We'll uh, rent a bike. So the wife and I figured we'd go down to uh, Charleston, South Carolina for a nice ride. It's a good uh, hour and a half ride from Myrtle Beach, from where we uh, rented the bike. Uh, Rolling Rentals, highly recommend them if you're ever in South Carolina. They were fantastic to deal with. So anyways, so the whole ordeal of renting the bike was not an ordeal whatsoever. It's just uh, me being me. Um, rented the bike. Uh, I was uh, conversing with the uh, the gentleman there. Um, I think it was Frank I was talking to. Frank or Al? I don't know. One of the two I was talking to, or just emailing back and forth, because I, I wanted to find out how much it was and uh, how long you actually had the bike for because uh, you know I didn't know if uh, you know you pick it up at 9 30 in the morning and you had to have it back by five o'clock or, or what the ordeal or what what the what the whole process was so uh, once I found out that basically you had it for the whole day and by a whole day, I mean you pick it up at 9:30, you bring it back at 9:30 the next day. Um, that's that's the the amount of time the insurance is for. That's the amount of time the uh, the rentals for. So, I mean that's bonus. Um, I believe it was $250 American to uh, to rent it, plus you had to pay 20 to 20 dollars or so for uh, for insurance. Um, there's different levels of insurance that you can uh, put on there. Um, we didn't do the cheapest one. We did the one that had uh, a little more, a little more uh, coverage to it, just uh, just in case. It was, I think, it was a five dollar difference. I think the mandatory one, the state mandatory that you had to have, was like fifteen dollars, and then um, the one we went with was twenty dollars, something like that. But anyways, we uh, rented the bike. Um, after conversing with the guy, I'm like, okay, this is the one I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the uh, Harley Davidson Ultra. Right, gotta stay with Harley. So I go online, because uh, that's how you have to book it, and I go in and book it. It's a pretty easy process, you just select your day, and uh, and that's it. Pay for it online, and then, uh, actually I don't even think you paid for it online. You had to book it with your credit card, but you don't pay for it until you're actually there. Um, you have to do uh, a security balance too when you uh, do pick up the bike. But anyways, that's all like uh, legal stuff that they have to do in case some, some damage is on the bike. So, uh, I book it. We uh, head down there for uh, 9.30 a.m. because you have to you pick 9.30 or 10 uh, when you're going to pick up the bike and you go down there. So we go down there and the way it's set up is they had, uh, there's like a mechanics place. Uh, the rental place and then there's actually an Indian uh, motorcycle dealership right there so we go up and it's locked and it says if it's locked go see the people at the Indian dealership so we go over go talk to the guy at the Indian dealership great guys over there um, and they're like oh well we're, we'll just call them and they uh, call them up and they're like, oh, uh, he apologizes. Uh, they're having issues with their uh, emailing stuff. And uh, can you uh, wait an hour? It's good. He's an hour away. He'll he'll come in. So we're like, okay, that's fine. You know, uh, you know, the mistakes happen. You know, maybe we'll just go and get uh, go and get a, a breakfast. So we went and had breakfast. And as we're sitting there, like my wife was pretty annoyed with it. She's like, how do you run a business like this? And da 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 da. da. Well, I start looking in the, uh, I show her the, uh, the receipt for the, uh, the rental. And of course she's like, you rented this for next Thursday, not this Thursday. I'm like, oh God, it's my fault. Of course, then I start feeling bad. Of course, she's mad at me now, right? She's not mad at the, the owners anymore. 
uh, not too mad. I mean, we got breakfast out of it at a cool place that was right on the ocean. Um, I'm trying to remember. It was like sick dog or puking dog or something like that in uh, in Myrtle Beach, just outside of Myrtle Beach. It was called. A great little place. Uh, great place if you're gonna go eat. Yeah, it's like sick dog or dead dog or something like that. Um, so we head back over there and of course uh, as soon as I opened the door I said I got to apologize He goes you read it you rented it for the wrong day, right? I'm like, yeah, I am so it's like no worries like uh, You know these things happen so I made them come in the way they do it is they just they only come in if they have rentals uh, They're they don't just sit there uh, for walk-ins because uh, They don't really have walk-ins especially at this, that time of year because it's uh, off season, right? So no problem and uh, you know he was doing the thing uh, I told him why I was uh, going with the uh, the ultra and everything uh, and he actually uh, got me to go sit down on a, a couple of bikes in the back and uh, he recommended me taking the Harley or the uh, Indian Roadmaster just because it would be lighter um, so it, it carries the weight a little better than the ultra and uh, he knew I'm coming from a soft tail so he, that's what he suggested for me right um, it was a newer bike and they had less less, less issues with it uh, than the ultra so I went ahead and went with that it was a 2018 the uh, Harley was a 2014 so uh, newer technology it had the uh, the GPS was updated and everything so he said it would be uh, better since you don't know your way around so we went with that it was great great recommendation so anyways we go we, he sets us all up I go to put our helmets on and everything and I was all excited to use my Insta 360 for the first time and of course being the uh, awesome YouTuber I am, I forgot to bring the motorcycle mount. Uh, <laughs> so I couldn't even uh, put that on. Um, and then I'm gonna, I'll put the uh, the footage on. Um, I went ahead and actually we when we stopped in uh, Charleston, I actually took it out and I did a nice uh, montage over the uh, the bike and uh, to show you how great the bike looked. Well, here's the footage of that. Okay, well, let's just change. So as you can see, it was uh, the tail end when I was putting it away, and I have a half hour of it sitting in its uh, cover so that's a little bit of a fail on my part uh, so it had no insta 360 uh, footage of it so there's a bonus so we uh, we drive all the way out there I didn't put my um, GoPro on or anything because I thought I'd be uh, using that um, so yeah didn't get any footage going out there so when we're there we go and we stop and we go and stop at uh, in uh, Charleston. There's not much parking down there, so we uh, we stopped in a parking lot. They have these uh, things that you you have to dial the number and uh, put in a credit card and, and pay for the the daily parking. Um, of course, with us having the uh, an international uh, phone number, it wouldn't let us do it. And so we're getting frustrated, so we ended up just saying, forget that. So my wife got all uh, antsy and we just said, you know what, we'll just uh, we'll just leave it and we'll uh, just pay the fine if we get a fine or whatever, right? So whatever, so we go, we walk around Charleston, nice, nice little city other than the fact that there's no parking anywhere or we couldn't find parking, but uh, really nice little town. So we go back to the, uh, again, haven't filled in anything. Uh, we go back to the bike. To, uh, we were done walking around. We were there for, you know, four or five hours, whatever it was. Go back to the bike and lo and behold, which uh, being a Canadian, I didn't know these were an actual thing. I always thought it was just like a, like a joke thing that they put on. We had a boot. <laughs> there was a boot on the, on the bike. We had papers covering the whole windshield. Uh, so, of 
course, now my wife's really mad because <laughs> this, this trip is getting a little bit more expensive. Of course, again, didn't think to pull out a camera to take a picture, film anything of the boot. Uh, Would have been uh, something, uh, you know, some memories. But being the uh, poor YouTuber I am, I didn't even do that. Um, I was still trying to figure out how I was going to keep my wife from killing me, I guess. So there we are, we got to call the thing. The guy was nice, he came over, cost us 50 bucks. It was not too bad for him to take the boot off. Um, I mean, it would have been cheaper, the uh, 15, 20 dollars. Uh, but he came right away, took it off, wasn't that big of a deal. She was more worried that it was a scam and he's just got our credit card number, but knock on wood, he hasn't uh, charged anything to the, uh, the card at all. So after that, um, I actually did put my GoPro on to start filming. Uh, for the ride back to uh, talk about the bike and right after we get out of the parking lot my wife wanted the uh, the radio on and I've got to tell you I was the captain of no radio on a motorcycle club I didn't understand them I was like this is stupid why would you want that I, I see people blaring their music around I'm like I would never be that guy you know I don't want to be that I would never want to be that guy blaring his music driving around right well I gotta say radio on a motorcycle I loved it cruising down the highway listening to tunes oh god it was great um, the Indian actually has a, a, a mechanism in it so when you slow down it actually does lower the volume but man was it nice having those tunes on the, uh, on the bike so I can completely convert it uh, blare your radios guys love it awesome I'll uh, be giving you the thumbs up every time I see it now but anyways so I uh, turn the uh, GoPro on start driving away she wants the radio on well can't use any of that footage because uh, you know the uh, YouTube algorithm just keeps flagging it all the time and turns out I didn't have any memory on the uh, memory card anyway so it ended, cut, ended up cutting out anyways, and most of the things I talked about wasn't even on the, <laughs> I captured on the, uh, on the footage anyways. So, that's my story of uh, how not to rent a motorcycle as a YouTuber. Uh, but anyways, uh, to go back to the, the rental, if you're wondering how it works, the way he does it is you just drop the bike off whenever you want, and they actually have a camera set up on the drop box where you go and you put the uh, the keys in. So as soon as you go there, you uh, you park the uh, the bike in the back, you throw the keys in the uh, little box. They have a little camera set up, like uh, one of those game cameras, I guess. So it know it records you when you're doing it. Someone just comes over, grabs the bike, and throws it in. It's such a great great thing. So it doesn't matter. You could go drop it off at three in the morning. They'd get a notification. I, I don't know if they'd come at three in the morning to go and put the bike away, but. They could if they wanted to. Uh, it's a pretty pretty cool setup, so you're not uh, beholden to, uh, to have it back at a certain time other than the fact that it would uh, the next morning. If, if you took it at 9.30, you'd have to have it back by 9.30 or else you'd have to pay for um, more insurance on it. Um, I don't know if he would charge you for the whole thing. I mean, those guys are great there, so I, I'm sure they wouldn't charge you that. Uh, they may have to charge you for the insurance, but, uh, but yeah. Great experience, rolling rolling rentals in uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Highly recommend them. But anyways, that's my story of uh, how not to rent a, uh, a motorcycle as a YouTuber because uh, yeah, we'll learn how to film. Anyways, until next time, later.